Minecraft released a new cave for both Bedrock and Java editions. To get this cave, you need to join a new Bedrock server. Yes, I know Bedrock, but don't worry guys, I will guide you. You join the event, click the button, and join now. You're gonna join the server, it's gonna load the texture pack, and you're gonna log in. Once you're in the server, there is a button that lets you know your progress, and you will notice that each one of the challenges requires you to wear a beanie in a specific color. To process the beanies, you need to go to the right side of the Meltdown portal where the shop is at. Each beanie costs 250 coins, which is the equivalent to 2000 coins for all beanies. The first mini game, which is actually the easiest mini game, is Grid Runners. Just click the controller and you will join the queue. In Grid Runners, you can do four of the 15 challenges, which are the Green Gecko, the Aqua Axolotl, the Purple Panda, and simple enough, the Grid Runner challenge. Before the TNT launches you, quickly jump to get a momentum boost. In the first room, you need to defeat monsters, but you don't actually need to do that. Because in your top bar, there is a one minute timer. When the timer ends, the new room will open, which means it doesn't matter how well you do, because you just need to wait a minute until the timer ends. You can even get coins when your teammate defeats monsters. In the next room, you can complete the green gecko challenge by painting 200 blocks in the paintings. A good trick is when you enter, look for the most common color and just select the painting color and just paint. I don't have much to say because the challenge is easy, okay? It's gonna take you like two to three rounds to complete it, but it's fine. In the third room, you can complete the purple panda challenge by giving the cake 200 ingredients. The fastest ingredient is sugar. Go to the right side and farm the sugar cane until you have a stack of sugar. Because the stack is the limited amount you can give the cake. After you're done with the sugar, go to the chest near the cows, get a stack or two of empty buckets and milk the cows. And then give the milk buckets to the cake. Two rounds of doing that should be enough to complete the challenge. In the last room, you can complete the aqua axolotl challenge. After the second jump, go to the left and right click the bubble and you should complete the challenge. After doing it, complete the parkour and you're done with grid runners. The next game is Ace Race. In Ace Race, you can complete another four challenges. The Red Rabbit, the Orange Ocelot, the Pink Parrot, and of course the Ace Race challenge. There is a way to make it a lot faster than normal, because for the Red Rabbit you can do it in one run, because you don't have to run over 50 different launch pads. You can run over the same one over and over, but there is a problem because the launch pad will launch you very far. But for the Orange Ocelot challenge, you can just run over the same speed pass as it just gives you speed instead of launching you like the launch pads. For the Pink Parrot challenge, you can go to the first Elytra gate and fall into the void. Repeat this process 25 times and then continue the course as normal. After completing the course, you should be done. Our third game is Sands of Time. You can complete an additional 3 challenges. The Saiyan Coyote, the Blue Bat and the Sands of Time challenge. The Saiyan Coyote challenge requires you to collect 75 coin piles from Sands of Time or Meltdown. However, I advise you not to do this challenge in Meltdown as there are a lot more coin piles in Sands of Time compared to Meltdown. Just go around the map and collect the coin piles. Another tip is that you don't have to run over them. You can also right click them from distance. Same thing applies as well for sand because you need to collect 100 sand with the blue beanie for the blue bat challenge. Do not worry about the time pressure to escape because you only need to escape once for the sands of time challenge. And you don't need to escape again. To escape go back to the nether portal at spawn. This is probably the hardest game of them all. Not because it's hard, only because it will take the longest time to complete. And finally our last game, Meltdown. In Meltdown you can complete two challenges, which are the yellow yak and the Meltdown challenges. Just shoot the mobs and punch them while they're frozen to not let them unfreeze. You need to defeat 350 mobs to complete the yellow yak challenge. You don't have health regen until the next room opens when the timer reaches 30 seconds. When you enter the next room your health will regenerate. You need to survive until the third room to complete the meltdown challenge. Beware that blazes on the fourth room can unfreeze mobs so shoot them first. You can also hit multiple mobs at once. The lime llama challenge requires you to give 10 gifting boxes in the main lobby. To buy gifting boxes go to the left side of meltdown and scroll down and buy 10 gifting boxes which costs a total of a thousand coins. To gift boxes simply right click any person in the lobby. People can get more than one gift if they open the first gift. The last challenge actually has another 7 challenges. Watch this video right here to complete all 7 because I want to give credit to the guy who found it. Subscribe for more.